Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today, I want to take and show you guys a new piece of tooling that I just bought for a whole series that I'm going to be doing on air tooling, or air forging more specifically. So I've got some exciting projects lined up for that, and a lot of things planned out. So let's get into it. So the tool that I bought is I went out and bought this Husky. This is a air hammer uh, that you, know, you can use chisels in it and things like that. I'll put the links to the tools that I'm talking about and I'm referencing in this video in the description down below. Those are affiliate links. They do help the channel if you purchase anything through the affiliate link. If you don't, just use it as an informational source and go pick this up at your local hardware store, Home Depot. Once again, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. Now, this here is one that I got from Harbor Freight a long, long time ago and uh, it's a bit underpowered for a lot of things. That was one of the questions that came up. How thick a material do you think you can forge with it? And really my reply to that is it depends on how hot you get it and how hot you can keep it. Uh, this starts failing pretty quickly. This design here, this small short body design, it fails pretty quickly on anything above about, I would say really hot eighth inch plate. Eighth or eighth, you could probably get away with quarter. It would be slow go, but you could move it. Uh, eighth inch is probably premium and anything under that it'll definitely move the material very quickly. So it's this would be for very light detailed work if you're going to use it. Now this on the other hand I've already tested out these two. This thing uh, well it just kicks this one's butt period and it should because this is a much higher price point. Uh, this here, I believe you can get like a whole set of like these air tools at Harbor Freight for like 25 bucks right now. Uh, if you, you know, use a coupon and things like that. And this one here, this was like $64 out the door after I paid tax and all this other good stuff. And so it's a, it's a lot, it's a more severe upgrade to this, but it hits way harder. So keep that in mind. Better quality tools are going to do more work for you and may do the type of work that you need done. Also, at Harbor Freight they share, they sell these little short style or short shank tooling as where the Husky brand's a much longer tool. Now I believe Harbor Freight also sells long tools and you know I had just bought the short ones to begin with and you know I should have got some long ones too. But like I said, all the links for this stuff, the cheap stuff, the good stuff, will all be in the description down below. You guys can go check those out. But we're going to modify these tools over the next couple weeks to take and do some work. So actually the video that will be coming out, hopefully just right after this video, we'll be making an air riveter, air rivet set. Using that, here's a 3 8 inch rivet. i got to remember this camera has a focal length and it's set to here right now. But this is a 3 8 inch rivet. Head. And what we're going to do is we're going to make much of the same type of rivet set that I did with that little block. I'll put the links to that in the description down below and at the end of this video, the rivets, uh, the one on you know forming your own rivets type things for ball heads. We're essentially just going to do that, but we're going to make something that works with this air tool right here, this guy. And this should, well, wait till you see it. Wait till you see it. It's going to it's going to make quick work of rivets. And if you want to Google air riveting or pneumatic riveting or stuff like that, uh, you can see that it makes quick work of rivets to join pieces together. So I'm going to show how to make some of that tooling, a fairly simple set. You can get as complex as you like. We're going to do that. And I'm going to show you over the next couple videos of how we can modify these tools for doing chasing and repose work in copper and steel and brass and you know well whatever tickles your fancy whatever your medium of choice so that's it for today this is just an update video on that I am going to be doing some videos after my class that I'm teaching on tongs making that's coming out this weekend if you're watching this in the future it's already happened don't worry about it uh, but I will be going forward with making a whole bunch more of these air riveting and air forging demonstrations. I've got a few projects lined up that I want to do. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully I didn't take too much of your time. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a big thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate the feedback. Let me know in the comment section what type of tooling you would like me to make for one of these. And uh, yeah, just put it down. I love reading your comments and I look forward to seeing them there. So like I always say, God bless you and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.